Hey guys, it's Di, and this is my 2013 updated Louis Vuitton handbag collection. And this is actually one of the most highly requested videos on my channel. People continually ask when my new updated handbag collection videos are going to be. I've actually done a totally separate video on why I do collection videos, how I got started doing collection videos, and why I think they're so interesting. I'm going to link that down below in the description and probably put a link here to the side while I'm talking about it. And so if you want to check that out, feel free. If this isn't your cup of tea, feel free to skip over this video and I will be back with more reviews and comparisons in the future. If you saw my 2012 handbag collection, you can probably see there hasn't been a whole lot of change over this year. My staple bags are really still the same and some of my favorite bags are still the same. The most notable change is actually that I do not have any Damier Ebene, the brown, dark brown Damier, in my collection any longer. I used to have a Never Full MM and also the Eva and over the course of 2012 I decided that they really weren't working out for me they really weren't getting any use and I sent them to new homes and ended up getting different items in their place so I will show you all the bags that I have in my collection currently and then also my Louis Vuitton accessories will be in a separate video which I will post hopefully in a week or so after this video is posted so we're going to start over here to the right, and we're going to start with my absolute favorite handbag right now. You guys have heard me talk about this one a lot in 2012. This is my Tavoli GM. It's one of my favorite handbags in my collection, and it's just a really great size. Even though it's the GM size, I find it's a just a nice everyday size. It fits all of my essentials quite nicely, and then it has a little bit of room left over for things like a scarf or if I need to throw some rattles or small toys in for my children. It really works nice for that. I also love the detail on it, the pleating here in the front and the back, and then also this little charm hanging off the zipper. I just think that they're really nice details. And then also the straps are adjustable, so it's just a super versatile bag. It looks great handheld and also on the shoulder, so I really love that one. I also include my pochette in my handbag video, even though it also kind of is an accessory as well. This one doesn't get a lot of use around my house, but I still love this and think that this is a staple Louis Vuitton item. And it's just a cute little item that you can use for so many different purposes, for cosmetics, for a little going out bag at night. It's just a really great little item, and that's in the monogram as well. Over here, if you remember from my 2012 video, I was really debating whether or not I wanted to keep this bag. This is the Montegruel GM, and I am so, so glad that I did. The Monty has now been discontinued. This is the larger size. It's also available in the PM. I've owned the PM before, and I feel like the GM works a little bit better for me for the same reasons that the Tivoli works, just as far as having enough space to put a little bit of extra things in and that sort of thing. You can see the shape is quite similar to the Tivoli, but they do feel like two different bags. The Tivoli is a little bit dressier, and the Monty is just a really super nice casual bag, and I almost call it like my shoulder bag style speedy. I love this bag, and I'm, I'm sad that it's getting discontinued, although I already have one. Obviously, I don't need to buy one again. I think it's a really great alternative to the speedy, and it, you know, it's unfortunate that people going forwards won't be able to get one directly from the store. You'll have to look in the pre-owned market, but I do really love this bag. It's got the option of locking the bag here on the side, and it easily fits over your shoulder. It's a very comfortable bag to use, great for shopping and errands. I just really love that one. And then back here I have the Palermo PM. I really love the styling of the Palermo and the Tivoli. If you guys have watched my collection videos over the years, you know that I have had a number of the different styles in the small and the large in the Palermo and the Tivoli. This is the smaller size Palermo. I've ended up with this one and it seems to be the size that works out great as an actual purse for me. It can be handheld but it's also got the long strap for shoulder use and they both have the pleating and these little zipper charms. They came out around the same time. I really am drawn to these styles. I really like them. The PM seems to be the most usable size for me at the moment. I like that it's handheld and also has the long strap. And so I just really enjoy using that for running errands when I have my girls with me. It just seems like a super versatile bag. And so that's been one that I've had in my collection for a bit now and it's really worked out for me. 
This one was a new bag for me in 2012, and I believe I got it right before my collection video last year. This is the Emperinthe Luminous PM. It's a larger tote style bag, but I like that you can change the how it looks, the style of the bag. By just tucking these down to the side, it becomes a little bit boxier, so you can you know make it look a little bit different. And it's a really nice size, definitely great to hold all the essentials. It would be great to take to work for a smaller work type of bag. And again, it has the two straps and the longer strap to go on your shoulder. This color is unfortunately no longer being made. It's the ombre color. There is a color that is, I believe, earth or something along those lines that's very similar to it in stores right now. But I really like this color. It's a great neutral color that goes with a lot of different outfits. And then over here, I have a bag that I hasn't gotten a lot of use lately. We'll see if hopefully maybe it'll get some use in the spring and the summer. This is my Totally M and it's more of a tote style bag. You can tell it definitely looks a little bit like a mommy bag, but these pockets on the side are definitely super, super useful. I love the pockets on the side. They're great to grab your keys and a really nice, easy sliding zipper for easy entry with lots of space to get into the interior and hold things. So even though I don't use it a lot, it is a really versatile bag and a great option if you're looking for a tote. Then up here to the right, I have the Brea MM, and this is one that I've also had in my collection for a while. I believe I got it in 2010, so I've had it for a few years. This is in the Rouge Fa Viste Vernis color. It's just a really gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Again, it has the two handles with the longer shoulder straps, so I seem to really like that style. It's probably the least used bag in my collection just because I, I view it as more like a special occasion type of bag, but I really love it. The color is gorgeous, and it's just a very unique unique bag, so I'm glad to have it in my collection. It just gives me a nice option if I'm wanting a little bit of a dressier bag. Then over here to the left, I have a new bag for 2013. I got it in 2012, but it's new for my collection videos. This is the Alma PM, and again, it's the style with the two handles, and then I purchased the strap from Louboutin.com to make it a shoulder option as well. This is a cute little bag for date nights and if I was running errands on my own. I don't use it that often when I have the kids with me just because it is a little bit of a smaller size, but I love that it has the silver over hardware and so I got it for that reason. I liked having just a different tone other than brown. Obviously a lot of the monogram bags have the brown. So I like that it's in the Noor with the silver hardware. This gives me a little bit different option for Louis Vuitton when I'm wanting something different. So this is my updated collection for 2013 and hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing how my collection has or really hasn't changed all that much. I do have a few things on my wish list for 2013 and I'm actually still sorting out what I really want. I was looking at the Speedy B and the either Damier Abin or they're also coming out with the Mon Monogram uh, where you can actually personalize it and put your initials on it. And so since I really like that style with the two handles and the extra shoulder strap, you can see I have a number of bags that have that effect. I have been considering the Speedy Bandolier in the size 30. I'm just really debating whether or not it is the bag for me. So I'm still making my decision to be 100% honest. I purchased one before the price increase, but I ended up taking it back because I just wasn't quite sure about it and I wanted to make a well thought out decision instead of just rushing to buy something just because there was a price increase. So as for my collection, this is it for right now. I'll be sure to let you guys know what I decide to get additionally in 2013 and I will show you all of my Louis Vuitton accessories in an upcoming video. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.